Taking crypto profits is not as easy as it seems. Greed and fear of missing out takes over when you see those lovely green candles continue to rise week after week in a bull run. But what happens is people get FOMO, FOMO, and they're afraid to take profits because they have this fear of missing out on extra profits. And then when the market starts to dip, they go into a phase of denial and the market continues to dip into a bear market and they're left holding bags of tokens with little or no value. In this video, I'm going to talk you through a take profit strategy. Now, if you stay tuned right until the very end of this video, I do have a free tool for you that you can use that will help you plan out your take profit strategy. Let's say you buy Ethereum at $1,000 and you buy two Ethereum, it costs you $2,000 and the price increases and it's now $2,000 each and you've made 100% gain. So you think you have 100% profit, but the reality is until you cash in that profit, that's not money in the bank. That's an unrealized profit. Until you actually realize it and take profit, it is not real profit. Taking profit means selling out. It means putting it into a stable coin, moving it off an exchange and into a hardware wallet, or cashing it into fiat and moving it back to your bank account. Now, whether you're a long-term holder or whether you are a short-term trader, you should have a strategy. And sticking to that strategy is absolutely key in making sure that you profit in the crypto market and you don't end up losing all of your capital. So how exactly do you take profits? Well, as I said, you make a plan and then you execute that plan. Execution is everything. And there's ways to make sure that you can easily execute the plan. So we're going to talk through this step by step. There's a number of ways where you can decide how you take profits. First of all, you can take profits based on percentage level increases. So let's say you buy Ethereum at $1,000 and you make a decision that a 20% gain is enough for you and you're going to take profits at 20%. If you're holding your cryptocurrency on an exchange, you can set a limit order to sell your cryptocurrency, to sell your Ethereum when it reaches 20%. That takes the emotion out of things because the limit order is already placed and hopefully it'll kick in when the price of the token actually reaches your sell price. So you can set to sell all of your tokens at a particular price or you can set to dollar cost average out your tokens. So what does dollar cost average out your tokens mean? Well, let's say you decide that you are going to sell half of your tokens when you make 50% profit. You're going to sell another 25% when you make 70% profit. And you're going to sell the remaining tokens when you make 100% profit. Doing it this way helps to alleviate that fear of missing out. And it helps to ensure that you can gain more profits on the way up. There's also the option of taking out your initial investment when you reach a certain value. So let's say you say when I've doubled my price or when, when I've doubled the cost price, made 100% profit, I'm going to take out my initial profit. What you're left with then is what we call a moon bag or house money. And this house money can then be used to further capitalize on the gains. But if it goes to zero, you haven't lost any of the investment that you have. Now, if you do choose to use this option, you still need to put in a strategy of when you're going to cash out them tokens. Is it going to be in a time period? So in five years from now, I'm gonna need that money because it's for my child's college fund and I'm cashing out then. Or is it going to be based on profit levels again? And if it's based on profit levels, make sure you decide on the profit levels and actually execute when it comes to those profit levels. Now, keeping money on an exchange and placing limit orders does have its risks. For example, exchanges can be hacked. They can go bankrupt. And 
when there's a bull run and all-time highs are being reached these exchanges often crash and you can't get in to actually sell at your tokens so having limit orders placed is a really really good option and doing it in advance takes out so much of the emotion that's involved when you're involved with cryptocurrency so your options are to sell when you reach a certain percentage to sell at stages based on profit level reaches or dollar cost average out your prices or to sell your initial investment and then use house money for which you're going to need an additional strategy for or when you're going to exit all of that. So let's hop over and take a look at a strategy for profit taking. I have this spreadsheet set up and this spreadsheet pulls in live pricing information so the current price of the token is always live. Now if you want to know how to get your hands on this spreadsheet do stay tuned to the end of the video. So what I have in this is the ticker or the the coin token name and the current price that as I said is live. After this I then put in the selling point so at what price do I want to sell my token. Now based on my own strategy I am more of a long-term holder on tokens than I am an actual trader but this can work for short-term and long-term holdings. I enter in myself my price which could be 100% increase, 25% increase, whatever increase it is that I'm looking to make. Then I make a decision on what percentage of the tokens it is that I want to sell. For example if I wanted to sell all of my tokens when it got to this price I put in 100% here tells me how many tokens to sell based on how many tokens I have how many I'll have left over and the profit that I'll make on the sale of these tokens with a total up here as we can see now if I wanted to do more of a staged value so let's say I wanted to sell 25% because at 25% sales at these prices I would be taking out my initial investment. We can see then that I will still have tokens left over. So I'd have 430 tokens left over of one inch. I'd have two tokens of Aave left over. And I've made a small amount of profit. Now after this, I'm then left with a moon bag or house money that I can play with. And with this house money, I can then set up my additional strategy for dollar cost averaging or selling the rest of it at bulk. So, for example, if I wanted to sell 100% of the remainder, the remainder of my tokens at these prices, it'll show us that we then have no tokens left over. How many tokens we'd be selling that we've no tokens left over and the profit that we'd make. But let's say I only wanted to sell another 25% of my tokens at this price. It will then show me how many tokens I have left over and I can then continue on to make further sales as the prices increase. So let's say I pick these prices here for my next selling level and in here I'm going to sell 50% of the tokens that I'm, I have left over. It shows us now at this price using this is the moon back strategy or even the dollar cost average strategy. It shows us how much profit we have left and how many tokens we have left over. Now if I scroll right over to the end of the spreadsheet that we have, it shows us the value of the tokens left over, how many tokens we have over, the total profit of the tokens that we've sold. And we can add in here and continue on putting in the percentage tokens that we want to sell. So let's say on our next sale, we wanted to get rid of all of our bags of tokens. Well, we could put in 100% here and all of the tokens, the tokens over will be zero, our profit will show up. And if we scroll over here, it'll show us our total profit that we've taken on these particular tokens has been 5,700. And we would have taken our initial tokens out here or maybe it is a dollar cost average and um, or our initial tokens being left with a moon bag whatever the strategy is it works well with a spreadsheet like this now as i said if you wait till the end of the video i'll show you where you can get a spreadsheet like this for absolutely free and that is really really simple to use so remember the options that you have keep your money 
on an exchange if you are a trader so you can quickly sell buy it and sell tokens but if you have a longer term strategy don't forget to move your tokens off an exchange because of the risks that are involved set your strategy decide what strategy you have based on your risk tolerance whether you're a short term trader or whether you're more of a longer term trader I would advise if you're a longer term trader keeping the tokens for at least a bull run so dependent on where you come in in the cycle that could be between uh, two to five years within the cycle and that means that you'll definitely catch one of these bull runs and if you set your targets and stick to it then you won't miss out on the gains that you have calculated for yourself. So set your limit orders when you're placing your orders and you have your funds on an exchange so that the orders automatically kick in or use your portfolio checker for when the prices are going up to see if you're reaching your target profits. Then you can move your money from your wallet back to an exchange to sell it. But don't forget in times of market going high, exchanges can be extremely volatile and that prices can move very fast and that exchanges can go down as well. Make sure that you have your fees available to pay for selling and buying your tokens and moving your tokens. And if you're selling ERC20 tokens or tokens on top of Uniswap or PancakeSwap, make sure you have the right token in your wallet to pay for those fees. So if you're selling some an ERC20 token on Ethereum, you're gonna need Ethereum in your wallet to execute that trade so that's really important to remember so you take profits when the prices are going up you don't take profits when the prices are going down don't worry about fear of missing out if you have a strategy executed and stick to your plan remember profits are unrealized profits until you either have stable coin that's back in your hardware wallet or you've converted it to fiat and that fiat has been moved back to your bank account. To move fiat back to your bank account is getting more and more difficult as regulations come in. So be extremely prepared in advance. Have KYC with your exchange and make sure you've done it to the highest level. And often you'll find then that banks might even freeze your funds coming in from crypto exchanges. So it's worth uh, notifying your bank in advance if you're making a large transfer from a crypto exchange to your bank account and let them know that these are profits coming in before you actually transfer them in and that'll mitigate your risk of your funds actually being frozen. So this tracker spreadsheet that I have here, there is a video on using this exit strategy over on the Crypto Rats channel. But if you want to download this whole tracker and learn how to use this whole tracker, do click on the video on the screen now.